the season opener for the West Coast and the Sydney Swans from the SCG. Certainly a vital game for both teams. Tunbridge underneath it. Irving follows up well. Soccer's down right. Eagles going to the right on the opening term. Hetty gets the hand pass out. Picked up for the Eagles by Turley. And his snapshot has rolled through for four points. Great start for the West Coast. And down towards the pocket intended for Ooh. Struper who started on the forward line. Crashes into the back of Eugel. And Eugel will get the free kick. So Struper listed to start in defence is on the forward Dennis. line and the book is out for Struper. A charge. We had a similar one uh, at Carrara last week which resulted in a two-match suspension. A little bit soft that. But Matera starting on the bench for West Coast. That's interesting because he really did have a season out last year. Oh, it's going the other way so maybe we're wrong. Oh, it wasn't against Struper. Maybe it was McKenna that was reported. Well... We're not allowed to show you replays of reportable incidents, so I'd like to see to... one. I'd like to see that again. No idea what happened there then. Makes two of us, or perhaps three. Free kick taken. It'll be Sydney's first score, and it looks like a goal. It is. And the umpire's found a free kick going the Eagles' way, and that's 50 metres. So, Dean Kemp to take the free kick. Now around about the centre of the ground, not a long ground, Sydney, so a 50 metre penalty here can just about bury it. would almost be within kicking distance. Sort of magnificent goal yesterday. Kicked by Stephen Stretch at the MCG. Travelled in excess of 60 metres. Hasn't gone for the long kick. Kicks down to full forward. Great mark. Taken by... So Brett Hetty a chance for his first goal today and the Eagles second. Slight angle, 25 metres out. And he doesn't miss too many of those. That's a goal. Swan's able to tie it up there, hence the bounce again. Tunbridge straight to Nickel, snapshot goal. Well, something made out of nothing there. The West Coast Eagles lead by two goals. For a hand pass, effective. That was a Brunton. The Swan's kick clear now through Kelly. Kelly's kick inside 50, marking contest. Minton Connell, hand pass. Barry Mitchell, centering kick from him. Oh, Lawson, great mark by the little... Kick two behind so far. Has he learnt by those mistakes? He has. That's a goal. Murphy. That's not a good kick. Centering kick. He looks a little sore. Jakovic will get clear. Well shepherded. A hand pass. Effective onto Kemp. Lawson chases, but the gap is too big. He's gone out towards the wing. Doolan tries to spoil. Effective on Matera. Comes up with the footy. Short pass. It's a goal and gets Sydney have kicked the last two goals. This is Murphy over the top. McGovern outside the 50. Probing kick. Oh, clever Mark Mitten. Final open goal. Beckins, he turns round and kicks it. Irving from behind. Oh, Lewis, good hip and shoulder on Tunbridge. Put him out of action for a second or two. The ball spills free for Kemp. Oh, well, spears it up towards full forward and the mark is taken by Lewis too at the boundary throw in directly in front and he has goal Peter Matera marvellous year last year towards centre half forward Turnbull uncontested looking better now the West Coast Eagles lately about to come on for West Coast making the play as Turnbull goes long down towards full forward a bit of pushing and shoving ball had it then lost it Turley's got it and kicks a goal Nine plays 34, the Eagles by five points. Lewis out of the centre. Main wearing. He'll run in and kick another one. And he has done. And he's certainly one of the Eagles' busiest players today. He's picking up a lot of possessions. The forward line early, and now Matera, who started on the bench and is doing well. Kemp starting to get on top of Lawson. 20 metre hand pass. Turley. Main wearing. Steadies, measures the hand pass, back to Kemp, clear of McKenzie down there. And Brett Hetty takes a knock. That's a pretty good kick off the boot. Go on, pass is all clear. Towards half forward. Kampler, timely fist on that one. Nichols couldn't control it. Mitchell, quick hands. Bays draws a man away to Tripp now. Forward of the wing. Oh, He's taking a long time, Terry Tripp. 
goes for distance, thumping kick down towards the kickoff line, Nettlebeck, what a spectacular mark, not played, the umpire calling play on there, standing around, Nettlebeck in trouble, gives it to Love, goal! Quick kick, Up towards centre ring, Kepler, arguably in the back, that's how the umpire sees it, he'll take the foot. Having a very good duel with Henny. Doolan down towards right half forward, backs himself against Matera and does it well. Good kick, they've got the numbers, this one's down there, and possession. Nettlebeck makes a man. So pull it back to six points if he gets it. Oh, he's missed. Oh, yeah. The difference back to six points. Under nine minutes left in the half. Swans can get another one. Could have been a free kick down there. I think it was Murphy that got Collett. He didn't like it either. Oh. So he decides to remonstrate with Lewis and uh, behind the plate. It was Tunbridge to step in. Kemp in the meantime takes a ping at the goals from 50 metres out and has kicked it. But Chris Lewis. Lewis forward at the wing. Centering kick and a good one too. Hines on the burst. Has the ball. Outside 50 to main wearing. Man on in the pocket. That's ball. He should have gone. He did very quick for a big fellow now. Main Waring from just inside the 50 has kicked a very good goal. Lovely kick. No trouble picking it up. With the ball just a little bit greasy out there. Rain certainly has been threatening for a while. And Tunbridge shows a good turn of speed and a long kick. Looks for McKenzie at half forward. Back up support from Doolan. Long kick into the goal square. Oh, Never back nearly. Certainly really needing this goal if in fact he's to kick it. Distance obviously not a problem. Oh, dear oh dear. Has he missed? I think he has. No, he hasn't. It's a goal. He'll be able to come away. Cordy. Monty Higgins at left centre wing. And he decides to go for a run. Turnbull's the only one that can chase finally Irving. He's a little bit too late. Centering kick up toward 4-4. Four, four, strong. And a kick from about 45 metres, David Strooper. Stuttering run up. Not usually a good sign. But the result is a good one for Sydney. It's a goal. He's combining very well with Mitchell and that pair keeping the Swans right in this game. This is Bayes from half-back towards half-forward. Djakovic, two-handed fist away. It's taken by a trip. Nettlebeck, 60 metres out from goal. Bacon, goal square. He goes long. Love is leading back in the race. It could oh. be through and has. The Swans are... High kick, not a very long one. Oh, look at the speed of that little fellow. He got a high one. And continues to play on. Spears in the past of Barry Mitchell. Mitchell wasting no time. Kicks to the edge of the square. And the mark is taken by McGovern. Maybe too far out to score. What about the speed of Lawson to get to Turley. Fantastic. Kicks from inside the square. Not the greatest of kicks. It's bounced through. Ten ten to 9-7. I don't take back, not the greatest of kicks, but it couldn't have been a better result. Early, with some space in which to operate, his second bounce, running down towards right half forward, puts it up in the air, Turnbull's got to full forward, oh, great juggled mark by push out, But that's a push, a free kick by Bogain. Bridge, we'll come back to that if we've got time, Tunbridge from about 40 metres out, or rather, Turnbull, Turnbull's kicked. Irving, Mitchell, Murphy. Murphy's high kick from the travels about 30 metres, knocked down by Djakovic. Nichols had it and then lost it. Thrip grab, we're not in possession. Slaps the ball further forward, where it's picked up by Lewis. Lewis has kicked to the 50 metre line, awkward bounce. Barry Mitchell fumbles, he doesn't often do that. Has to get a quick kick away, or hand pass. Lawson onto Doolan. Back it comes, can the Swans get a goal? Strooper, he's kicked two already, is that his third? I think it is, yes sir. Main Wearing and Turley have two for the Eagles, 76 to 68, seven seconds remaining before three-quarter time. This is Kemp, takes the hand pass from Hines. Now, will that mark be paid? No, I don't think so. No, he's going to pay it. Gee, that was very close, a real split-second decision. So he's got a chance to kick a goal for the Eagles. After the sale, Brett Hetty will become their leading goal kicker in the match. He has two, as I mentioned. And two goals and time on. If he gets it, very valuable for West Coast. 51 metres out. Gee, it's not a bad kick. Great kick. Looks accurate. And is. That will help them. Hetty gets his third after the siren. 
and Sydney leading but only by two points, 11-10 to 11-8. Two points the difference as we begin the final quarter, two late goals in the third quarter by the West Coast. We've got them back into this match, anybody's game as we begin the final term. Overcast conditions, Waterman kicks from a standing start up towards the 50 metre line. No mark taken down there for, uh, Fitzroy, for uh, the Sydney Swans by Brunton. McGovern. Out it goes to Bays. He kicks across goal. Lawson doesn't let him down. Marking in front of Scott Waters. Looking for Thrip. Oh, can't find him. But an equally good mark is taken by Strooper, who's kicked three goals so far. And has proved an adequate replacement up in front. Or Simon Minton Connell who left the ground with a knee injury. Hunbridge, there's big man on the ground by a country mile. Now he would just about be within kicking distance. Lewis gripping over the mark that brought a reaction from the crowd and brought back. Hunbridge for his first goal. Kicks right on 50. Won't quite get there. Lewis. Love hits the behind post. The ball has rushed through for one behind to make the difference. Lewis through space. How did he find that? Kicks from inside 50 into the goal square. Eddie. Oh. He's paid it. Yes, I think I would agree. He brought them down and dragged Eddie's hands off the ball. Eddie for goal number four. And he hit the post. Well, that's poetic justice. That's his third. Matera once more picks up the loose ball, then dragged off it. Bays across to McGovern. Good harassment there from Higgins, who's hurt on the ground. Off the chest of McKenzie. Mitchell. Marvellous game from him. Gets it out to McGovern. 40 metres out. Good looking kick. It's a goal. McGovern kicks in second, and the Sydney Swan breathe again. There within a kick of last year's grand finalists. 85 plays 88. Waters. Again, the Eagles, though, out of the centre. Long spiral kick up towards full forward. No mark. Taken down there by Turnbull as the ball is shuffled over the boundary line for a throw-in. Kapler. Quick kick. Oh, this comes back to Matera. No mark paid, obviously. Nettlebeck. Goes in short up towards the centre wing position. Gorsfold overruns the ball. Holmes tries to get out the hand pass. Finally flips it out. And we can see Jakovic. Go over the top of it. Lawson's there. He'll need to be quick. He is. Lewis was right on him. Lawson again. Being chased by Laidley. Nearly tripped up. Could have been a free kick. The umpire lets it go. Brunton kicks up towards the centre wing position. Higgins has recovered from that knock he got before. Centering kick from him. Up towards half forward. McKenzie got underneath the ball and couldn't take the grab. Well done, McKenna. McKenna charges through. Over to Mainwaring, who's always busy. Mainwaring's kick up the centre wing. Bays. Now it comes back. Swans once more through Holmes. Mitchell. He Actually, Mitchell was back. hurt earlier. That was a gutsy effort by the little fella to get himself up and put himself in a position to take that mark. Terrific. A strong grab taken by Holmes. Here would put Sydney in front. I don't think with that kick it won't get the distance. Into the oh. goals. Won't matter. McKenzie. Goal. Sydney lead. He's had a lot of dash, he was involved up the ground and kept on running in a wave with about three other swans. Thriller at the SCG, <coughs> but this game might have lacked in finesse. Certainly making up for it in plenty of other areas. Doolan to Mitchell, spears the pass. He's got that one. Well, they were tested, Sydney, and haven't they responded? Crowd responding to them back in the middle. The Eagles desperate for the next goal, just over eight and a half minutes remaining. Irving goes off the ground, down towards half forward. Kapler and Hetty. Hetty about 40 metres from goal towards McKenna. Got an unfavourable bounce. This is Kapler. Scrambles a kick about 15 metres further afield. Lewis left it behind. And Higgins comes away. Higgins, right half back, kicks it out very wide. Oh, don't. Keeping it in. Nettlebeck. Why did he do that? Jakovic to Lewis. Intended for Matera. Nettlebeck looking to make amends as dragged down. Now Higgins wants his left side. Picked up by Matera. Down towards the pocket. 
Eagles. Close to the boundary line. Turnbull slaps it back infield. The players are pretty tired. Tunbridge has got it. Away to Cordy. Nothing on to the far side. He kicks for open space. Hetty is going back and his mark still inside the 50. Ooh, he's done it, Hemi, has he? Let's hope he hasn't. He's well, had a good day. He's been their only forward, Hetty. Goes short and finds Irving. Yes, Hetty's kicked three goals. Now Peter Sumich has got his critics in Western Australia. Meantime, Irving from 40 metres out. Not a good kick. Off target. And it's out of bounds off. Tunbridge. Thumbs it hard. Tried to find Kepler. Hetty goes down. Bays, Lewis, Nichols, snapshot, won't quite get there. Knocked down by Turnbull. Cordy tries to paddle it in front of him, might have been pushed in the back. The umpire says nothing for that. Lewis goes off the ground and this time does succeed in getting the ball out of bounds in the other. Turnbull, Turnbull had the height. Higgins in front with Pike and he'll take the ball. Ving and Tunbridge, over the top was Hines. Plenty of pressure on out there as both sides try to get it up to their forward lines. Pike down there with Laidley. And McKenna trots the boundary. Most unusual to see him out there in a tight situation. So another ball up. Sydney Chant goes up. Irving taps down, tries to find Lewis. He gets tackled pretty well by Thrip. Higgins hooks the ball across his body. The ball is coming back though. And it's going to be a free kick. I didn't see what for, Don. I'm just looking at the time clock. There's plenty of time left for the West Coast to come back. Yes, They're right. only 10 points down. There's at least five minutes. And then Chris Lewis goes for the short pass and he's found Hines, who has already kicked a goal. Known as the goatee beard this year. Formerly from Port Adelaide. He's kicked two goals today, Hines. Kicks right on 50. Angle not really a problem from there. And that will float through for one behind, I think. Yes, it is. So a further score to the Eagles. 13-11-89 to 14-14-98. Cameron Williams downstairs has some news. Eventually the Swans bring it away. No news is good news. Close to the boundary line. Jakovic for the West Coast Eagles. Back towards half forward, Turnbull in front, over the top bay is almost a spectacular mark, somehow the ball comes back to him, tries to reef it in, in goes Pike, and the clock continues to run. Ball up, down from left centre wing for the West Coast Eagles, who trail by nine points. Irving, almost down Mitchell's throat, Kemp's in front, ball close to the boundary line, out of bounds and will be thrown. For West Coast. Boundary throw in, Tunbridge. Matera thumps it the other way. Well done by Higgins to Doolan. Towards half forward. Warsfield to almost got a free kick. Kemp running out of space. Held without it, says the umpire. Let's go down to Cameron Williams. Yes, Gold McKenna, just a cork thigh. They think that he may be able to come back and play some part in the game. Well, he's fast running out of time. Ball past oh, the wing. Hines mark. goes up and takes a very good mark. It may hurt when you land. Chris Lewis has lost his boots, so he has no traction on the left foot. Hines across the ground on a particularly good kick in favour of Lawson. Ages. Lawson from centre half back, back towards half forward and Mitchell. Mitchell about 80 metres out from the Sydney attacking goal. Over the top to Thrip. Bacon goal square, he goes for distance. Running back is McKenzie. He should mark this one, got his fingertips to it, couldn't hang on. Turley tries to go off the ground. Foot race towards the outer side. Main wearing hits for the boundary. And he's found it. Inside the last three minutes now. And it seems it's going to be a big upset here at the SCG. That's our scoreline. And the Sydney Swans started the game without Dennis Carroll. Lost Simon Minton Connell, who was looking good on the forward line early. And still, they continue to cut oh. the West Coast Eagles. Juggled attempt at the mark by Nettlebeck from the Brunton kick. Clearing kick from Kemp around the outer side. They're going in solidly. Irving slips it out wide. This is Turley. Turley's kick up towards the centre wing position and he's found Ryan Turnbull. And the Eagles players know that they've got to get the ball moving quickly. They need two goals. Still time if they're good enough. Hines the target. Has the ball punched clear. Higgins, he'll go for the boundary line. Is that to... Irving and Tunbridge. Lewis up. Bays. A quick kick. Goes to the boundary line. Brunton. 
Murphy with a good turn of speed still late in the game kicks to centre half forward Pikes in the road and takes a very timely mark kicks the ball back to the centre wing position marking contest Irving over the top punches the ball down Turley nearly a throw play on says the umpire Main wary on his own after a brilliant shepherd he gets covered late kicks up towards full forward or oh, heady magnificent attempt to mark and safely taken over the boundary line for the Swans by Darren Kepler. Curdy's down. I think it's Cordy. He was in front. He copped that knee. There he is in pain. Was it his shoulder? Just have to wait and see. He's right in play. Will the umpire stop it? He should. Ball tapped down by Ball. Well, bad hand pass. Nearly a Swans turnover in the goal square. Lately. Yeah. He's going straight over the line. In the meantime, the ball's kicked off the ground for a goal. So less than a kick in it. And there's a fight on as well. Well, everything's happening here at Sydney. We've got a close game. And the players' feeling still very high. I think it was Hines who socketed the goal. But I'm not sure. When I was watching Cordy, it's a dislocated shoulder. Oh. What rotten luck. In the dying seconds of the game. Let's see what happened with that goal because I was watching drink by there. Hines being tackled by Bays. I've been very impressed with Hines. That's his third goal. So 33 seconds to go. Three points the difference. Can the West Coast Eagles get a late goal? Lately. They're moving it forward. The clock is down to 22 seconds. Wars fold. Strong tackle. Doolan. Back comes Laidley. Trying to keep it in. They need to keep it in. Matera's got it. We're down to 15 seconds. Needs a mark. He kicks inside the attacking 50. Missed by McGovern. In goes Lawson. They've weathered the storm. They're going to win it. Away comes Higgins. Long kick towards half forward. Over the top, McKenzie. Wait for the siren. Sydney swans in a boil over. New coach. New enthusiasm today, certainly. As you'd expect, first up. They've won it 14-14 to 14-11. And this crowd of just under 10,000 in very festive mood. It's that time here in Sydney. Some big celebrations over the last couple of days. And it's spilled over onto the football field. At what price that, Dennis? Because Cordy and Minton Connell, pretty high price to pay. Let's hope that both of those injuries are not as serious as they originally looked here on the ground. What about the West Coast Eagles? This start, in stark contrast to last season, they won a string of games, well into double figures. But today... Well, we thought it was going to be a danger game, Dennis, from the start. We were talking before the game. You just predicted that they'd just get in. I thought they'd have a 10-point victory because this being the first game, teams really do live for the first game of the season. And Sydney really did drag the West Coast down. And I think one player that really typified Sydney's effort is that man being hugged there by Michael Byrne, number 13, Brunton. He really did harass Turley all day. And there's Gary Bacanara, a very jubilant coach. A lot of dejected faces there, but they've only got themselves to blame. They had the chance, and to credit, they didn't give up the West Coast. They really did fight it out, and what a tremendous game.